Hi folks, I'm Rod with Johnson RV. We're in Sandy, Oregon, and we're America's number one premium pre-owned dealer for motorhomes and RVs. And uh, very happy to start with you today. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look at a little gym that just came in, a 2014 Ascent. But before we do, I just wanted you to kind of get a, an idea of the type of inventory we have here at the store. We specialize for a long time in, in Class B motorhomes. So we've got vans on the Sprinter chassis, the new Ford Transits, we have the, the Dodge chassis, um, you name it, we've got it. And, uh, and uh, excited today, we're gonna show you this new arrival. This is a little gem, I call it, GEM. This is a 2014 Pleasure Way Ascent. And uh, if you've been studying the Class B motorhomes, you know that the Ascent is built on the shorter of the chassis. There are three different chassis, links and the Sprinters. This is the 19 foot, five inch chassis. So it's the smallest of the group. And it's fully self-contained. Generator, awning, kitchen, bathroom, the whole works. So you can go anywhere and park in any parking space. So it's about the length probably of a, a standard pickup, maybe a little longer, about again, 19 feet. But it's that uh, Mercedes Sprinter chassis, which gives you that fuel economy, which is just incredible. We, we hear of numbers go up in the 22 to 25 miles per gallon. And of course, some of that depends on how you drive and driving conditions. But uh, to have that in a motorhome is just amazing. Now, I've opened the door to kind of give you an idea of the nice open door. When that's open, what that does for you out onto your patio area with your full length awning here, you bring that out and you've established that nice, nice space for outside. And uh, but then when you look inside the pleasure way, you're going to see just how beautifully it's made. And we'll go in in a minute and give you some more detail on that on the floor plan. But I do want to do a quick walk around with you. Uh, I'll close this door for now, but you have uh, cast aluminum wheels, so they're cooler riding, they're lighter weight, and just a nice, a nice uh, approach to the wheels. Standard, they would come with a steel wheel with an aluminum liner. These are cast aluminum. As we come around the back, you've got a spare tire on this, which is becoming a little bit rarer and rarer on the Sprinter chassis. Many are choosing not to go with that now, but you have it in a Continental kit. And when you uh, open the doors, you see you've got some nice cargo area under the bed and the sofa arrangement. And we'll see that in a minute when we go inside. You're hitched and ready to tow with electrical and everything. So this has a towing capacity of up to 5,000 pounds. So uh, towing a small vehicle, a towed as they call it in the, in the business, uh, is easy to do with the Sprinter chassis from Pleasure Way, the Ascent. Um, working our way around, the tires on these are basically brand new tires. You've got the, your water heater is here. You have your utility center. I like how Pleasure Way arranges this. It's very simple. If you get in, a lot of times when you're traveling, it doesn't seem like you get in until late at night. And it's just a quick, easy hookup. It's right here, boom, power and water, and you're set to go. And you're inside and, and uh, cozy. Next to that, you have an outside shower, hot and cold water. And I like the way they've located that. They've located it right above the dump station for your tanks. So when you're finished dumping the tanks, the black and gray tanks, if you need a little rinse water, you can do that here with hot and cold shower. So again, you can see as we walk around, it's just a tiny little motorhome, but boy, it packs a big punch. We're going to go inside now and look at that, that floor plan we talked about earlier. We're inside the 2014 Pleasure Way Ascent. And uh, just, uh, you know, when you step into a Pleasure Way product, you realize immediately what kind of quality you're looking at. It's just, it's noticeable. You check out other motorhomes, it just, they don't compare. And uh, this particular one is a beautiful kind of an espresso chocolate uh, colored cabinetry, beautifully done, lacquered nicely. Uh, and this, this cabinetry is built into this coach individually. Um, this is not your normal assembly line built coach. It is a, built more like a yacht, you might say. Maybe one or two people can be working on it at one time. And it just, the, the quality shows through. And, and Pleasure Way's been building homes now for over 30 years, so they really know what they're doing. But uh, I wanted to show you this, we're going to, because we're close, it's a small motorhome, uh, I wanted to show you the bathroom here as you come in, and it's a nice space, and something uh, as what might seem a mundane, you actually have a bathroom window, and not one that you can just look out, but you can actually open for some ventilation, so that's a nice thing to have, and you'll find a lot of the smaller motorhomes don't have that, and uh, it seems to be a popular feature. And then uh, up towards the front here, I'll just point out that we are on the, of course, again, the Mercedes chassis, but both the wheels do turn around and become, or both the wheels, both of the uh, seats up front turn around and become part of the living area. And uh, uh, this, the previous owners on this, they opted to go to an aftermarket in-dash system for the motorhome. Uh, the uh, standard 
in dash. There's going to be a smaller screen, so they went to a larger screen just to make it a little easier to use. I like that. And uh, we'll kind of pan our way back. And, and I want to point out that I am almost six and a half feet tall. So it's a little close for me in here, but I'm still, I'm used to it now, and I'm comfortable walking around in here. But you should know that when you're looking at the video. It's not as small as it may seem. <laughs> Um, in the galley area, we've got a, a, a nice refrigerator. I like how it's located up a little higher. A lot of the Class B motorhomes, these refrigerators will be down underneath the countertop here. So you have to get down pretty low to get into the fridge. And I just like that point about this. And you have an in inside freezer. This is a three-way fridge, uh, 110, 12 volt, and propane. And above that, you have your microwave oven. Controls here for your generator. Uh, this uh, particular one has 19 hours on the generator. and. Uh, so very low usage on that. That's nice. Also, I think the, the coach has 18,000 miles overall on it. So keep that in mind in your notes. And uh, galley again, you've got your two burner stove top. You've got a nice stainless steel sink here with cover. Corian, high grade Corian countertops. They do not scrimp on this. Now I'm going to go ahead and seat myself here. This is uh, the, the rear living bedroom area, of course. And your seat, you, you have a forward facing seat with seat belt. So that's nice. This comes lays flat, joins up to these two ottomans, and it forms kind of a twin bed configuration. Or you can fill this area in and make it into a nice queen size bed. And by the way, Pleasure Way is known for this, this bed being very comfortable. They've designed it with memory foam, which is becoming more and more common now, but they've got two, two different depths of memory foam and densities, which make it a really a comfortable bed to sleep on. So that's something to be considering. Again, as we look around the perimeter, you'll see the nice storage cabinetry we have all the way around. Uh, we have LED lighting in here, so it's uh, good light, uh, good for reading, good for living, and it's cool, too. It doesn't heat up your coach. And then we've set up our table. So this table just pops out, obviously, and it just sets aside. But it's nice to have that here for dining and uh, maybe some card playing, that sort of thing. Um, but again, this is a 2014 Pleasure Way Ascent. We just don't get them very often. I think they might have made 60 or 70 of these a year for all of North America. So if you're looking at the Ascent, I hope you'll give me a call. I can tell you some more details over the phone. Again, my name is Rod. I think the number is listed on the screen now, but it's 503-668-5400. And hope we hear from you soon.